Hi guys, I'm in Dalat right now and this is a city of love and flowers. I want to spend three days and two nights here. So I'm going to take you guys with me to see where to eat and what to do in Dalat. Alright, let's go! So in the last video, I show you guys where to hunt clouds and some places that you can visit while being in Dalat. In this video, I'm going to show you places where you can eat local food in Dalat. And let's start with the most well-known and must-try dish when you come here. It's bánh ướt lòng gà, the wet flat rice noodles with chicken and intestines. Okay, so if you guys come to Dalat, this is a local food that you must try. This is called bánh ướt lòng gà. Um, unfortunately, today they don't have uh, the lòng, uh, which is the organ from pig. Uh, when you hear the word lòng gà, you thought it's a, an organ from chicken, right? But no, it's actually chicken with organs from pigs. So as you guys can see, there are chickens, uh, some herbs, onions mixed with uh, fish sauce. Yeah, sweet and sour fish sauce. First, you have to mix it real well so the sauce can absorb all the ingredients in here. Dalat people, they love chilies, they love spicy food. Now, I understand why it is a must try when you come to Dalat, it's really good. The noodles are chewy, the chickens are tender, mixed very well with light, sweet, and sour fish sauce and fresh herbs. Oh my god, it is so, so good. This kind of looks like bánh quân in Hanoi. Alright, let's move on to the next one to see uh, what we're gonna eat next. The next local food that I want to introduce to you is ốc nhồi thịt, stale stuffed with meat. It's located at 224 Hai Ba Chung, Đà Lạt, and the price is 150,000 Vietnam Dong for a bowl of snails like this. It looks really delicious. So to eat this one, you would pour the lemongrass. In here, they have snails stuffed with meat. And this is um, a very famous place. If you come to Đà Lạt, the locals recommend this uh, to us. So good. So the snail is very big. Uh, it's chewy, it's crunchy at the same time. It almost tastes like um, squid, but it's crunchier. And I can smell um, the garlic, onions, and um, I believe peppers in the meat, and I believe this is pork. And uh, with the snails, you uh, dip it in chili. It is really good. The meat is soft, the snail is chewy. Like two of them make perfect combination. Really, really good. Highly recommend. We don't usually eat bánh đa with snail in Hanoi, but in here, I feel like people eat bánh đa with everything. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna eat this one with basil's green banana and a star star fruit. I was about to say Star Wars. <laughs> star fruit. Comment down below if uh, you guys have star fruit in your country, okay? This one looks li like snail hamburger. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> okay, dip it in the dip it in the sauce. English. So you know the aftertaste when um, green fruit, like when it's not ripe yet. It tastes kind of like uh, bitter and sour at the same time. I don't know how to describe it, but, but in Vietnamese it's called chat. I'm gonna look it up later and put it like right here for you guys in English. You know what? This sauce is the spirit of this dish because without this sauce, I don't think the dish is uh, being completed. Uh, the sauce gives it a very uh, light sweetness, uh, sourness, and spiciness. And I can smell a little bit of lemongrass and chili and uh, garlic.
garlic in here. I don't know if they put the broth from uh, boiling the snails in here, but overall, this is very good. It's not too spicy, uh, not overly sweet at all. If you come to Hanoi, uh, the sauce is a little, a little bit different. It's more watery, uh, but it has the same taste. You can still smell the lemongrass and uh, the garlic because Vietnam is known for spices, you know. Um, spice, Vietnamese spices make all the food taste better. Well, I noticed in the South, people use a lot of wet whites, but in the North, people use a lot of tissues or uh, paper towel. Uh, so if you come to Saigon or Da Lab, uh, if you don't want to pay extra, you can just bring your own wet wipes, okay? Uh, so you don't have to pay for um, their wet wipes in their restaurant. Moving on to a place for veggie lovers. It's called La Gouda Veggie Buffet. It's only 59,000 Vietnam dong per person, which is almost $3 per person, and they have a beautiful sitting view here. If you love salad, if you love vegetables, this is gonna be heaven for you. Look at this. There are a lot of veggies here. So Dalat vegetables are very sweet. I don't know why. I don't know because of the weather or um, the soil here, but the veggies in here are very, very fresh. They also have the vegetarian broth and uh, with a bunch of veggies because it's called uh, veggie buffet. But then uh, actually you can order a separate plate of meat and seafood. Um, so yeah, uh, they have vegetarian broth as well and uh, normal broth. So you can choose whatever you want. But if you are vegetarian, you can just order vegetarian broth and uh, take some veggies from the trays over there. Yeah, many options for you to choose from. They have a lot of sauce here for you and I would recommend you to try this one and this one if you uh, want to eat seafood. But yeah, uh, they have peanut here, uh, fried onions, satay, uh, lemon, chili, tomato right here. Yeah, salt and pepper. But yeah, these two sauce will be the best for seafood. Okay, so this veggie is my favorite. This one is called okra. It is very slimy inside, but then uh, it's crunchy and soft at the same time outside. Very, very good for your health. And uh, even when you boiled it or you uh, put it in a hot pot, you grill it, whatever you do with it, it tastes really, really good. I re recommend you try this one when you come to Vietnam. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, this one in Vietnamese is called... Um, ah! Ah! No, bap! <laughs> So I hope you guys are getting full with me by watching me eating all the food in that lab and I hope you guys are not drooling when I'm talking about food. Right now is not something about food anymore. I'm gonna head to uh, the Dalan, Datanla, Datanla waterfall and we're gonna do a lot of activities there like zip linings and um, um, roller coaster. Alright, let's go. An adult is gonna be 170,000 Vietnam dong, and for children, it's gonna be 100,000 Vietnam dong, and you have to be uh, between 80 centimeters to 120 meter, uh, 120 centimeters, and they have the measurement here. <laughs> and let's see if I'm taller than one meter and 20 centimeters. Okay, overqualified. Let's go. So there's another option if you don't want to do the roller coaster and um, visit the waterfall is that you can buy the bundle ticket which is uh, 350,000 Vietnam dong for all the activities. I believe there are like 60 activities that you have to pass and it's kind of like American um, Ninja Warrior. You know, you have to overcome all the obstacles and hurdles and everything. It's super competitive. Uh, so we, today we just don't have time. So uh, for now, we're just gonna try the roller coaster and uh, visit the waterfall.
Oh, oh my stomach. I'm doing my app. So you can see the nature here is so beautiful, but it's scary at the same time. Oh my gosh. What? Look at that. Look at that. Uh, we're gonna go down there. I mean, it's less scary than a uh, roller coaster. So we're gonna head to the last destination where we're gonna explore all the delicious street food is Dalat Night Market. And here is my friend Hank from Let's Speak Vietnamese. If you want to learn Vietnamese, check out her classes. I'll put the link for her website down below so you can check it out. And now, let's go with us to explore Dalat Night Market. Guys, do I look like her? So if you forgot to prepare some warm clothes, you can always come to the night market in Dala to buy some warm clothes here. You can see there are a lot of um, styles for you to choose from. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey guys, avocado in here is huge. Look at this. So long. Wow. I can't believe this is avocado. <laughs> But they have a very good uh, avocado ice cream and avocado smoothie here in Dalat, so must try when you come to Dalat. So this is Vietnamese pizza. This smells really, really good, and now I want to try it. I can smell sausage, eggs, and onions in here. And now I'm gonna give it a bite, okay? Um, to see if that lab Vietnamese pizza is different from um, other pizza, like other Vietnamese pizza. Really good. Wow. It's a little bit burning, but it's okay, you know. The flavor is really good. It's sweet and sour, and I can taste the sausage, the egg, and the onions in here. It's so crunchy. And cheese, right? And cheese too. And then like inside is really soft. Um, perfect balance. Really, really good. So um, if you come to that market, you can like just come in, like um, go straight. And then you go up the stairs, you can find these little shops. Yeah, and then you can uh, pick any of them and have some Vietnamese pizza. Must try when you come to that lab. Cảm 
nha All right, so that's it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoy my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss the next video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.